let's talk about this this documentary that is on uh, on television tonight that I saw months ago called Misrepresentation, Misrep which is uh, I think important for for everyone to watch, especially women, especially uh, mothers who have uh, daughters, because and and really anyone who has children. I think everyone should watch this. It's it's fascinating when you watch this documentary, and you're a part of this. And uh, speak about that. Well, it's it's about the way that media um, doesn't treat women all that fairly, but recently media has gotten really specifically hypersexual about the way that women are treated. Women are always sort of portrayed in really hypersexual and sometimes hyperviolent ways, um, in a way that I think is, is something new. Like the last decade, it's been new. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, video games have sort of made it worse, um, but also it's just the way that our culture represents women right now and how that uh, gives girls tunnel vision about what are okay ways to be. Right. Um, and so it's, the cool thing about the documentary is it talks to a lot of women who have broken outside of those stereotypes and succeeded on different grounds um, in different ways that women different ways that women can be powerful that aren't just about what you look like. Right. It's cool. It, it's an amazing documentary. I really recommend it. And you have been uh, picked on for the way you dress or look and people, you've gotten a lot of hate mail, right? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, it's one of the things I talk about in the film. I've, ever since even just being in local radio, I've always had sort of like 14, a constant 14% of the feedback that I get is hate mail. So I've local radio, national radio, national TV, big time national TV, I always get 14% hate mail. But 100% of that 14% hate mail is about what I look like. I hate you not because of what you said or some argument or some position that you have, but I hate you because, you know, you're Rachel Mad Cow because you look like a cow, or uh, you know, or you're you're Rachel, but I'm gonna call you him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest joke in the whole world. <laughs> it's the same joke every time. If there's one thing that like, I don't want my hate mail to go away. I sort of love it. I just I want new hate mail. I want it to be about something <laughs> other than me being mannish and cow-like. I just I want new. Well, I, I wish you didn't get any. I mean, yeah. I, I, I wish you didn't pay attention to it too. I, I'm sure I get it. I don't pay attention to it because I hate even having that energy in me, but yeah. you don't deserve it. You're a very, very intelligent oh, um, person, and uh, we need you on television. Thank you. We really do.